Well, as promised today, Kim Zabori begins her sit-down interview with Standard Speaker reporter and WYLN News editorialist L.A. Tyrone on his just-published book on the history of Hazleton entitled, We Were Here Once. Now, you relate the subject of the book to yourself in calling it hard to classify, and I'm sure anyone who knows you or is familiar <laughs> with you can uh, relate to that as well. Well, there's a lot of pictures in it, uh, but they're not real big glossy ones, so it's not quite a coffee table book. Um, if you were going to do a really in-depth, a real in-depth scholarly history of the book, you would have had to go to federal courthouses and look up the results of some of the cases in there. Well, I didn't really do that, so it's not really fair to call it uh, a historical textbook. Um, and it's not quite commentary a la Bill O'Reilly, Rush Limbaugh type books. Uh, but there is a little bit of that in it too. For instance, we're very critical of downtown south and some of the redevelopment plans that happened over the years. Uh, so it's sort of the th a little bit of the three of them in one. I said, well, it's kind of hard to classify. I don't know where you'd put it. Do you think in general this book will take the public back to that time too and help them relive the history of Hazleton? I would like to think that I'm a good enough writer to do that, but that's up to the individual reader to decide if, if I do or not. Now the book covers a large time frame from the beginning of Hazleton mm -hmm. right up to uh, some recent events. Yes. Um, and why it does that, I don't know. That's just me. That's another one of those things that makes it sort of hard to explain. Uh, they're all, throughout the area's history, there were thing, different things that struck me as interesting, uh, so we included them. And the later events, like for example, the night the Reinhardt fire, um, I, there's, uh, there's a little bit about that in there, because there were a couple of things that happened that night that we never really actually put in the newspaper. L.A., in Chapter 6, Burn It Down, the book makes a strong case for a string of arsons in the Hazleton mm -hmm. area and uh, the cause of those. Mm -hmm. Explain that to me. There's a lot of arsons from, oh, I guess probably the fall of 1916 through the spring of 1918, with most of them concentrated in 1917. And the big targets were connected to the war effort in one way or another. And there was something like 17 of them where the targets were in one way or another connected to World War I. Um, and I take a stab at trying to name who may have been responsible for it. You're going to have to read that to see what it was. <laughs> Again, it's a great read, and of course, it's uh, only as L.A. Tyrone can bring it to you. Now, Kim will have the second part of her interview on Monday's WYLN News at 5, so tune in to find out why writing this book gave L.A. nightmares. That's Monday, only on WYLN News. Coming up...